I'm Linus. Uh, I'm from flowminder.org and uh, the division of global health at Karolinska Institute in Sweden, in uh, Stockholm. As many of you of you know, there are in, in large disasters there are frequently huge population movements, and those can go on during long periods of time, or, or they could be very rapid, as, as during floodings. And last year alone, there were 42 million people displaced by natural disasters. And, and these movements, they, they can take place across hundreds of thousands of square kilometers. So, so really, one of the key issues facing relief workers and relief planning is to be able to, even though resources might be available to deliver the right kind of supplies to the right place at the right time. Uh, and this was very much an, an issue in, in, in the Haiti disaster, and uh, I know many people here worked there. And it, it was apparent from quite early on that many people were leaving Port-au-Prince, and uh, there was very little information available on where they were going and, uh, and uh, how many people were leaving. And so. Together with colleagues, I established a collaboration with Digicel, the largest mobile phone operator in, in Haiti. And we received anonymized um, <coughs> call records from their system. And we analyzed those records and followed 1.9 million anonymized mobile phones, phone SIM cards as they move around Haiti during 2010. And we reported these. We, analyzed the data, we put it on maps, and we, we disseminated this widely to, to agencies in, in the field. And, uh, and also at the cholera outbreak um, in, uh, in October uh, the same year, 10 months after, we, we could, just within 12 hours of getting access to the data, we, we, could, uh, <coughs> we could send out maps like this showing how people moved from the cholera outbreak area and in order to uh, identify areas that potentially increased risk of new outbreaks. Um, we also um, published this recently in an academic journal, and uh, for validation purposes we, we made a comparison with two different data types. So one was the, uh, <coughs> the information or the estimates actually available during the early phase of the disaster, and which was used by most large relief organizations. And as you can see, the comparison here, it's, it's, there are very large differences. Then we also compared our data with uh, a large UNFPA-led study that was uh, done on 12,000 persons six months after the disaster, asking about population movements. And as you can see, the, the results were very, very similar. Um, th th there's been a lot of discussion on, on privacy issues as well, on, uh, about mobile phone location data. and, and it was really good for us to see that in, in this particular case, like this particular type of, of, uh, of use of location data was extremely well appreciated by the media, but, but also by relief workers and, uh, and researchers. And this, this really prompted us in, in, in starting uh, our nonprofit organization called Flowminder. And the, the idea of Flowminder is to provide these kinds of analysis rapidly and for free to essentially everybody who needs them. And uh, so I think many, that includes most people here, I would think. Th th there are a lot of, of, um, of issues in, uh, in, in trying to analyze this kind of data. And it has to do with access to data, security, legal issues, uh, uh, and the very complex analysis, of course. So those kind of things are what we are working on. And we are discussing with, with key stakeholders, and, and we hope to discuss with many more. Uh, <coughs> about collaboration, because we, we're really interested in, in, in the dissemination side. So how could these analyses, what these analyses could produce when they are put together with, with the work that many of you are doing here. Um, and I hope this sounds good, um, but probably or hopefully we, th this will be version one. And in version two, we will not only be able to predict to, to, to say where people are, but actually to predict where they will be going. And there's a paper that will hopefully come out uh, quite soon, where we show that we have an 85% accuracy in predicting where people will go in the, from the Haiti data. Um, so these are us, uh, with the three founders are here, so please come and talk to us. Thanks a lot.